Usynth Drive and new Usynth title is now completely free. And so first, this is the page where you can click Get Drive for free. So click that and download so we can do this together. So go download, install, get back to the video and we'll go through everything you need to know about Usynth. And of course, we're going to explore Drive. Let's get started. Right, so this is Drive. I hope you already installed it. So quick overview of the user interface. On the top, we have the browser for the preset. Here you can see the different titles. So as uh, I said, this is a free one, but the other ones are paid and you can click buy now or whatever. And so each one has its own categories and its own presets. And we are checking out Drive, which is geared towards, well, powerful house essentials. Double clicking back to the main view and you got that running. Right, so now on the top, we have the three main modules. We have the synthesizer. This is where you create the sound. This is where we have the categories for the sounds and whatever preset you select, you can always change the sound. So for example, we are on keys. I can go and do this. But not only that, you can change the dark, bright settings. You can go fast and slow modulations. And for each sound and whatever you select, you got different settings on this panel here. So for example, for this uh, mallet, we have the cushion keys, uh, theory, <laughs> dimension and stability. Let's try another one. So here we have old record, lighter and honky tonk. So we're going to play with that more later. So that, that's the main module, very easy stuff. And then we have the finisher. The finishers are a bunch of plugins that you can purchase separately. I cover all of them in my channel, but they are sort of part of all the other products by UGEM. So for example, if you click this uh, title here, you'll get three different categories. We have single, dual and quad, which is basically a lot of different effects. So if we go into dual, for example, we'll, we'll have, let's go with space wobble. And so again, the same concept, once you select whatever effect you get, it's uh, specific settings or different dials right here on the bottom. So for, uh, for this one, we have the chorus amount, chorus rate, phaser amount and phaser rate. And if we'll go to the next one, uh, instability, again, we have completely different set of uh, things to mess around with. And we also have things like delays and well, uh, distortion and all kinds of very, very useful and very creative effects. So for example, let's go with the helicopter delay. So that's really cool already, right? So next we have the sequencer and this is not just a, a sequencer because we have different categories. Again, we have bass lines, we have sequences, chords, pads, and arpeggios. And so let's go with the first bass line. Right, and you can set the rate and you can do some other stuff. Again, on the bottom, we have the note length, we have swing octaves and pattern length.
Let's try something else. Let's go with the arpeggios. And so we have two bar arpeggios. And let's try another sound. So I'm going to try something from Leeds. Going to first one here. All right, so that's already a lot of fun. And I hope you're checking out the different presets. Now, the next panel that we have is right above the keyboard right here. So we have a couple of things to note first, the delay and the ambience. So if we'll go into the delay categories here, you'll see that we have different settings. Uh, well, a lot of things to choose from, different delays. Let's go with Gallop and we can set the amount and feedback. Or maybe we can go with trance. And I'm, I'm going to shut down the sequencer. Right, and the next one is the ambience. Here we have different rooms or reverbs, right? So I can go with the deep space, which I really love. Right, not too much. So, and that's not all, because if you click this little uh, thing here, this button, you'll get a legend for the key switches, but we also have the band range, we have octave, scale, and chords. So whatever you, I mean, whatever preset you select, you can always change the octave. And we can also set the scale and get a chord. So this is really cool. So first let's select the scale and then let's select the chord type. We have major and minor. We also have sus and octaves. All right, and we can go minor. Right, and there are different inversions. We can try the sus. And we have the octaves. Right, and so that, that's pretty much it. I think, again, if you like this video so far and that was helpful for you, hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know if I missed anything, let me know if you want to learn anything else, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. But now one very, very last something, I have a Discord server. Discord is a great community where we can talk, we can chat about pretty much anything related to plugins, uh, and especially uh, the things that I cover in this channel, but whatever. So. I'm going to put the link in the description of this video and you are most welcome to join. And with that, I'm going to just go and flick through some of the presets so you'll get a sense if you didn't already download it, installed and already playing with Usynth Drive. See you soon. Bye bye.
Thank you.